What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at another as seen on TV product. This is called the Engrave It Pro. This claims it works on metal, wood, glass, plastic, leather, and more. A powerful diamond coated tip. Now that, that I, considering that it's an as seen on TV product and the price range of this, I have a hard time believing that it's diamond coated. I believe that may, the metal that they use was diamond cut, but I could be wrong. Shows that you could use this on tools, on keys. It even has uh, it even has stencils. So this thing includes a bonus replacement tip, which is good. Apparently the tip is very sharp, but it also says that the tip will not even puncture a balloon. I don't have any balloons to try it, so I can't I can't say. I've got a few items here. One of which is a iPhone 5. I'm debating on if I want to try it on the front or on the back. I don't know once we get to that. And then I've got this old knife. It's stainless steel, so we're gonna try it out on that. But first, let's open this bad boy up. Let's bust it, oh! I think that's the spring for the battery, so I'm not, I'm not gonna freak out about that. And on the inside, okay, and then this is just junk. Now, I am gonna try it out with the stencils because I'm not, I'm not an artist. So it's not just all letters, so they've got different, different things. Love, squiggly line, wish, joy, smile, peace. Got butterflies and all kinds of stuff. So you can imagine what you could possibly use this for. I mean, you could use it for arts and arts and crafts projects. You can use it for all kinds of things. Personally, I'd probably use it to put my name on something or uh, Casey Neistat. He actually used a, a, a much more serious engraving uh, tool on his MacBook. He actually put his address on the MacBook. I think it's genius. I'm gonna go with the more complex stuff. I'm gonna use this. I may use, you know what? I might just put a heart on the knife. For love, not war. Because the pen is mightier than the sword. It is definitely made out of like cheap plastic. Like I said, that rattle is probably the spring for the batteries. Now the tip, it just feels like a little sharp ball. Uh, to take it out, which I don't have pliers, but to take it out, the instruction says, take some pliers, grab this, and just pop it out. You can see with this one, it's just a hole. So you shove it down in there and you should be good to go. I'm guessing it's tight enough. <laughs> yeah, I can't pull it. It's tight enough for it to stay in there. And then you have the on button. So you hold that down when you're ready to use it. So to put the batteries in, you just do a simple unscrew. Oh yeah, see, no rattle. Okay, I'm not gonna do it on the table because I like my table. Let's try it on the iPhone. Uh, geez, I don't know if I wanna do it on the glass or not. Screw it, let's just try it. Let's put a little, you know what, let's put a heart on the corner of the glass. Let's try that out. Let's do like star, no, let's do a heart. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, that works. Well, there it is, it's scratched in there. I don't have, um, you know what, I'm gonna try some spit. Now with a little cleaning up and probably a little more care, I could probably make that smoother, but that worked, it did work. Do you see that? It's so cute. Okay, let's do one more. I'll do a little heart just to, just down here. I didn't spend much time on that one, but there it is. It really does work. I mean, that, that there you go, on an iPhone. <laughs> That's, that's crazy, I don't know why I did that. But either way, uh, okay, so now the real test. I wanna try the real test, and that's on a stainless steel knife. It's a cheap, crappy knife, but nonetheless, right there, as you can see, says stainless steel. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna actually do some letters. Okay, look at that. It, it worked, it may not be perfect, but I did it and it worked. Uh, the only problem that I can see with it is it could be a little underpowered. You kind of need to let it rest on it with just a slight pressure and just kind of let it work its way through there. I was kind of rushing through it. I would say for little arts and crafts projects, this isn't bad. I definitely would not like put this ahead of like a Dremel tool that has the same type of bits. Dremel tools 
um, are way better quality. They're definitely a lot more expensive than this. Uh, but if you're just looking for something like just to throw in a box or something that you, you know, you have like arts and crafts or something like that, maybe you're, you're just a crafty person and it's just something that you want to try out before jumping into like a more serious Dremel tool because those can run up to a couple hundred dollars depending on the model that you get. But they have a lot of different parts and stuff that you can get for them. Overall, it actually works pretty good. All right, guys, so that's it. I'm going to leave a link in the description below as usual. You guys go check it out. And, you know, if you're feeling a little artsy craftsy, go pick one of these up. Check it out. See what you can do with it. I don't know what else I want to engrave, though. But get out of here. I'm going to put a flower on something because the flowers are cute.